And this is fresh, so we need to get this started. Let's get it started in here. Okay. Uh, welcome to another episode of ED. I kind of have been getting used to the name, and I kind of don't mind it. Just because it sounds like E. <laughs> but it's a D. E-D? E-D. Sorry, I'm eating fries. Not E-D. 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 Um, I don't know who I am, but... I don't know who I am, but... Um, I don't know who... Mm, well, my mouth is not working. I don't know who <laughs> wants all, to go it was first. It's all about hard work today. Um, do you want to go first, or do you want me to go first, or do you want? To go first? I don't know what I'm you, doing. You might. Yeah, you probably should go. Um, this is very disturbing. The box. Um, how much I the grease is soaking through. I pulled it out of the bag, and I was like, the ah. Cardboard. Um. It's already better than the one I got on the 4th of July. I got one that I opened it up and there's no sesame seed because I use a McDouble bun. Oh, yeah. And then the bottom bun was the middle bun of a Big Mac and the middle bun was the bottom bun of a Big Mac. Oh my gosh. I mean, they do flip it though. Like it, there's a part there's a part in the Big Mac where they actually have to flip the mm -hmm. flip it. But the Big Mac middle bun is like bread on both sides yeah. it's not finished yeah I and know. the bottom of that burger was just like bread yeah and there's a dot at the bottom did you, have you ever noticed that it's like a tiny dot at the bottom to indicate that that's the big mac it's right there oh to indicate that's the big mac bun yeah right there show the camera i don't know if that should take it camera. from somebody who used to work in the mcdonald's area yeah i know my stuff but uh and see, that's the problem with the Big Mac, is it slides apart. But uh, I'll take a bite. There's some good cheese there, some good salsa. So, what that makes me really, the, um, there's, the different layers have different effects. Like, the meat is, and the lettuce is definitely there. And um, overall, the flavors very much. There's a layer at the bottom, and then there's a big ball in the middle, and then there's like layers that are sitting over the ball, flattening out. Um, and there's certain layers that are kind of rough towards inner, the like around the ball, but then the layers as they go out smooth out as they drape over it. So like you almost imagine, like you have a a bed and you put a big heavy iron ball on it and then you put a bunch of like scrunched up paper around the ball and then you take a bunch of just sheets of fabric and you keep putting them over until it's a smoothed out and that's really what it is is that there's the lettuce in the meat but especially the lettuce is kind of that rough kind of crunchy in the middle but between the sauce and the bun it really smooths everything out to be a kind of whole smooth i you know thing um once i will say about the big mix i don't like they do not take long before the lettuce starts tasting bad and ruins the thing um but yeah that's kind of the image i used to describe the taste is it from looking at it, like it's smooth and stuff, but when you start digging into the layers, eventually you'll get to some of those more crispies that the rest of the fabric has to smooth out for it all to work. Yeah, I will not be able to describe it that well. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, I can't either. Okay, great, yeah, I'm not the only one. Do you want to go next since you have experience with this? She's lost for words. <laughs> yeah. I'm just so in awe of this. <laughs> I was going to say, is it the first McDonald's thing you've had that's good? Because you're a McDonald's hater. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, no, I liked their hot chocolate. It was fine. That was, like, the only thing I would eat or, I guess, drink yeah. from there once I stopped liking McDonald's. At what age was that? Uh, high school. Sometime in high school, I stopped liking it. It was, like, slowly, I stopped liking the fries. They tasted really gross, but I would still eat the nuggets because they tasted good to me. And then at some point, they started tasting gross. So now I don't eat anything from there. And obviously, I don't like burgers. So yeah. <laughs> I didn't ever get those. Um, it is a thing that, like, when like when people are like oh where should we eat she's instantly like not mcdonald's yeah anywhere but mcdonald's anywhere but mcdonald's her, uh, and her now it's kind of like anywhere but that and burger king that burger king yeah is, when i used to taste like that to me now I like when, when, I've, when i used to work at mcdonald's in my class and my brother he always wanted mcdonald's to eat for like dinner and right when i get home i'm like no thank you you guys can go get mcdonald's I will make something at home. Burger King's like the only one that's still like cheap. I don't even like Burger King. I love their their double cheeseburger if they add mayo. Can we just all take a minute and appreciate that one of the best fast food restaurants is Chick Fil A? Um, so I can't agree with that. Um, their kitchens are gross. I've been to a couple now, and their floors are just there's a layer of grease on them. I'm sure there's like a lot of places. I'm sure it is. It is. That is very common in a lot of kitchens, but it's especially egregious at Chick fil A's. Really? Like, I feel gross after leaving their kitchens. Oh dear. It's like clean, but inevitably, when you're cooking with those oils and stuff like that, it gets like, if you know, if you cook bacon on a stove, if you notice like the microwave above it, you get a little bit of grease, like the smoke grease. And that's what their floors just have a bunch of. And, like, I always am worried I'm going to slip mm. and fall in there. Well, you haven't well, yet, so. And, like I said, it's not gross. It's not like the food inspector wouldn't say. It's just it, everything seems like it's a little, it's going to make my hands feel like I have something on if mm-hmm. I was to touch it. That's how I feel about McDonald's. I've never been in a McDonald's food. kitchen. I've been in a McDonald's kitchen many times. I'm trying to think of any restaurants that really impressed me with their, um, I know another, I would never eat, um, at, um, any Asian restaurant that's owned by a couple from their country, because, uh, they, those countries do not have traditions of Food, food, and kitchen cleanliness, and it's horrendous. It's mm. like the grossest kitchen. It's like so many times I've walked in, I'm like, yeah, I would never eat from here. Like mouse poop next to food mm. and yeah, cockroaches and just like everything disgusting. Mixing salsa and you know in just a trash can like that. I saw that at a Chinese buffet. So Eileen, describe it. Um, I don't really know. I think it, I'm, not, I'm not sure how to describe it. It's just kind of like it's a mango and then it's pineapple. What are the shapes of the mango and the pineapple? What don't ask color? me that though uh, I, won't I don't know. know mango probably looks like this and the pineapple is like a lighter yellow what, about what, the, what are the shapes the shapes I don't know if you had don't, don't mango is just coming in smooth it's just like flat like paper it's just like and then speakles up pineapples like sun and then you have like half of the sun and then it's like the rays but they're spikes mm-hmm. and how do they those two shapes interact you better not ask me these because i don't know <laughs> i'm it's prompting language it, it is hard to do to create i'm not gonna be able it, it to just, do that it's like you're the camera right so you're following the like orange yellow of the mango and then suddenly it goes like it's a paint splatter but sharper more I don't know um, 
I guess less of a splatter, but <laughs> um, yeah, the pineapple just kind of comes out of nowhere because at first you're thinking, oh yeah, it's just going to be smooth and boring, and then all of a sudden it's like, yeah. <laughs> no, it's your turn. I still don't know what I'm doing, but bear with me because this is my first time ever doing something like this. You got this. But I got the double quarter pounder. But, ba but with bacon. And I don't like anything but ketchup, so I just got ketchup on it. This makes my teeth hurt. No more. If not hurt, it makes it like. Like, going numb? No, like, um, like the, I got a scrape and hurt, not hurt, like, feels like it's eating my teeth. Like, if you have, you've had coke, it makes your teeth, feels like it ate part of your teeth. Mm -hmm. That's what that's doing. It's ah. hmm. a good description of that. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about this bright liming, which is really, really good. Yeah. I try to give you prompting language, but apparently you don't want that. Because <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Though. That's the thing. It's your typical burger. It's like really fresh. It's like really fresh meat with like a sprinkle of like, but like adding some bacon on it. It's just mm -hmm. it tastes it tastes different, but it's like a good different. Mm -hmm. Some people probably won't like it, but like I love bacon and just like combining two of my favorite things ever. It just I I really enjoy it. What's the texture like? The texture it it's it's like a tiny bit like a little greasy, but like it's not too greasy. Mm -hmm. Like you know how like some burgers are like super greasy, and then put some bacon, you think it would be more greasy but like it's just the perfect amount of grease mm -hmm. it's just not it's Slightly not too saturated in the bun yes but not making it soggy yes and then just adding the sesame seed bun on top of that it's like a tiny bit more of a crunch to it mm -hmm. it's really good now if you had to take a flavor <laughs> we'll start it easy if you had to just choose one color that the taste represented mm. <laughs> and then just describe that color. Dude! I don't know. It does take practice. What color does your burger taste like? Yes. A burger! But what color? What color? <laughs> I don't know what color. Like, what color do you associate with a burger? Like, the taste. Yeah, like when you eat it. Mm. Do you have, like... like a I would say, that like, comes no, into here, here's the thing. I would say, like, orange because it's like a mix of two colors, like blue and red. Just like red, and red and yellow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I am not the brightest, okay? The purple? <laughs> <laughs> no. Like, it, it's like the burger is like the red. <laughs> red and yellow, yes. Like, the burger is like the red. It's like more, it has more burger than the bacon and the bacon is more like the yellow but like combining it together it just makes it orange mm -hmm, okay. and it's like a, a good combination now can you think of a shape <laughs> <laughs> i'm helping you get there I'm... i'll say the sun <laughs> <laughs> because it's like a it's like a, a darker yellow but like a, it's not too much of one color yellow. So it's kind of like a gradient of different yes, yellows? Yes, yes. Because it's like the mixing mixture of the bun, the cheese, the bacon, the ketchup, the burger. It just like combines it all together, makes it one color. Mm -hmm. Cool. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was our uh, McDonald's ED episode. Um, we, uh, tried a couple items, other popular items, uh, but if you like this, check out some of our other EDs. I'm hoping to 
produce more shorter-ish, you know, 10 minute videos. Um, because I really like this concept. It's really fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, and I will get better next time. I trust you on this. Yes. <laughs> yes. The more you do it, the um, easier it becomes. Mm -hmm. So. I was just getting good at the drawing. <laughs> <laughs> but you can that'll be one. it for us. Um, thank you for watching. Good night. And God bless. Even though it's not night time yet. <laughs> <laughs>